Hello everybody and welcome back to Broden's Week of Roguelikes. For the first time, I am actually doing a legitimate roguelike, and that is called NetHack. Now, roguelikes are a little bit harder to get into. Uh, the reason being is because a lot of the times, they have ASCII, it's A-S-C-I-I -I interface, and what that does is it, it means just characters are, are displayed, like at signs and A's and D's, just a lot of letters and different characters. Well, this has a graphical interface called Fulcher, which was recently released on Steam, and there was some uh, copyright issues that happened, and and there were a lot of infringements and, and stuff like that, that that had happened, looks like stolen artwork, just a lot of things that were unethical, but at the same time, this is a very fun game. NetHack is an amazing game. It's been in development for 30 years, I believe, so it, it is older than most people out there. and. <laughs> most people watching this video, I mean. And another thing that is very nice about that is that it has been in active development all that time. So this is the largest game I have ever seen. And that means that there is so much to do in the game, and there are so many things that you can do that is just mind-boggling. I even have a um, another screen up right now, and on that screen I have all of the commands that you can do in the game, I'll be switching back and forth between the screens because the commands in the game, there are quite a few. So, right here, let me see if you're seeing what I'm seeing. You are, that's good. It says, shall I pick a character's race, role, gender, and alignment for you? Let's do no. We'll do that by ourselves. Pick a role for your character. Archaeologist, barbarian, caveman, healer, knight, monk, priest, rogue, ranger, samurai, tourist, valkyrie, wizard, random. Let's do valkyrie. Pick a race of your valkyrie. Dwarf or human? Human. Pick alignment of your female human Valkyrie. I guess Valkyries have to be female. Um, let's do neutral. Lately your dreams have grown trouble. Images of ruin, strange creatures in combat haunt your sleep. Could these visions mean something? Beyond the valley of Gehemon are ancient runes, the entrance of the maze of Menon. Rumors say that it is full of monsters and treasures. Some have returned rich, many have not returned. And somewhere within, below the monsters of the dust of cobwebs, lies the amulet of Yendor, or so they say. The amulet would bring you great wealth if you found it. Even if you didn't, minstrels might pay for your tale. Compelled by your dreams, you chose to enter the mazes. After days of travel, you arrive near the entrance. You spend the night sleeping under the, the sky. Your dreams are uneventful, free of visions. Finally, morning comes. Your belongings packed, you descend a long rubble stone stairway. It is written in the Book of Odin. After the creation, the cruel god Moloch rebelled against the authority of Marduk, the creator. Moloch stored Marduk, stole from Marduk the most powerful of all artifacts of the god, the Amulet of Yandor, and he hid it in the dark cavities of Gehenom, the underworld, where he now lurks and bides his time. Your god Odin seeks to possess the amulet and with it to gain deserved ascendance over the other gods. You, a newly trained stripling, or stripling, probably, have been her heralded from birth as the instrument of Odin. You are destined to recover the amulet for your deity or die in the attempt. Your honor of destiny has come for the sake of us all. Go bravely with Odin. So here we are. We are a Valkyrie. We just got down to the dungeon. Um, and what is this? A fountain. Drink from the fountain? Yes. The fountain dries up. The water gives you bad breath. Huh. And this is our pet. A little doggy. That's a smashed door, it seems. Alright. So, this game is turn-based. Um, and... Oh. You displaced your little dog. I did not mean to do that. This game is turn-based on, like a lot of roguelikes that try to be a roguelike. Chat. Your little dog barks. Cute. What else can we do with our dog? Move here. Uh, name. What do you call a little dog? We'll call him Scruffy. I had a dog named Scruffy once and I loved him to death. Um, I don't want to fight with my dog. What is this painting? For instructions, type a question mark. Specify an unknown object by cursor? Yes. A wall, or an open door, or a grave. <laughs> okay. There we go. 
Let's push escape to exit out of that mode. All right, anyway, what I was saying before, and this is something that I need to focus on a little bit. Uh, I took a dark potion. Perfect. So, roguelikes are a game that started with the game Rogue, which was an ASCII interface game as well, um, and dealt with characters and stuff like that. Well, from Rogue came a lot of different uh, types of games that were called roguelikes because they were supposed to be like Rogue. Um, Rogue was a game that had dungeons that were randomly procedur procedurally generated. It had um, a lot of different things that you can do. It was basically like a giant RPG. It was like Dungeons and Dragons for the computer kind of thing. So one thing that was really nice about them is that because of the um, graphical interface that they, they lacked, they were able with these characters to have such a big and vast game without having huge processors because back in the 80s and the 90s they didn't have these. Well now um, we have you know bigger processors and, and bigger graphical updates that can happen so there are a lot of games that are roguelikes now that have graphical interfaces such as this one. NetHack was one that was a lot like Rogue in itself. Um, However, now that it has a graphical update, it is a little bit better. So the door resists when I try to open it, and the door opens the next time I open it. You hear a door open. Uh oh Why am I hearing a door open? Let's go ahead and take a look and see... Let's push this button and see what this is. A doorway or the floor of a room or ice. Pick an object. Well, that's a carpet. Does the carpet mean anything? Yes, more info. Valkyries were the 13 cho cho choosers of the slain. Beautiful warrior maidens or maids of Odin who rode through the air and over the sea. They watched the progress of the battle and selected the heroes who were to fall fighting. After they were dead, the maidens rewarded the heroes by kissing them on their... Um, and then led their souls to Valhalla. <laughs> kissing them on the what? I'm just kidding. Where the warriors lived happily in an ideal existence, drinking and eating without restraint, and fighting over again in which the battles in which they had died and in which they had won their deathless fame. The Encyclopedia of Myths and Legends of All Nations by Herbert Robinson and Knox Wilson. Alright, so the reason why I am playing this game is because I've always wanted to get into roguelikes. But the lack of graphical interfaces has made it very hard for me because I'm not sure I have the time to do that. So I'm playing a game now that has that graphical interface. My goodness, I can't see anything. So I heard this door open. It worries me. And this door is bust down. That worries me as well. Let's see what we can find here. There's some gold. The jackal just misses. Oh my goodness, I no longer have my dog. It's a jackal. The jackal bites. We have 14 HP. You kill the jackal. Perfect. Gold pieces. Move here. Oh, my dog's in the way. Fire, engrave, look around, monster ability, pray, rest, search, sit, wipe, face, pick up, pick up. Pick up the 85 gold pieces. Um, wipe face. Your face is already clean. Sit. Having fun sitting on the floor? Search. Pray. Are you sure you want to pray? Yes. You feel, you finish your prayer, you begin praying to Odin, you feel that Odin is displeased. Uh oh. Pickaxe. A pickaxe. Okay, so let's look at our inventory if we can. Engrave. Show choices. Longsword. What do you want to engrave in the floor here? Um, here lies Broden. Rest his soul. You cannot write anymore. You are only able to write here, right, here lies B. Look around. You read here lies B. Something is engraved here on the floor. You see no objects here. All right. Doorway. Perfect. All right, let's go here. All right, here's some gold. Oh, look around. There 
there's a doorway here. So it's smashed. Um, human Valkyrie called Let's Play. Pick up two gold pieces. What is this? A scroll labeled Fubi Bletch. Um, let's take a look at our inventory. So we have weapons, a longsword, and a dagger. Weapon in hand. An uncursed plus three small shield. An unfo uncursed food ration. A scroll labeled Fubi Belch. A dark potion and a pickaxe for a tool. Interesting. Let's see what we can do with those a little bit later here. Alright. I wonder why this room is already... Oh, that's a monster. Okay, let's approach the monster. You were hit by an orcish dagger. He threw the orcish dagger. What a jerk. You killed the goblin. I got an orcish helm. I have 14 HP still. Okay, so I guess I'm not taking very much damage. That's good. So let's take a look at our... Inventory. So I don't know. Apply. No. Where? Okay. Perfect. I'm not sure if that's given us any armor or anything like that. Let's see what the scroll does. Apply. That's a silly thing to use for apply. Um, read. Your helmet turns to dust and is blown away. <laughs> Alright. Drink potion. You are suddenly moving much faster. Awesome. Um, apply. In which direction do you want to dig? Let's dig downward. You dig a pit in the floor. Scruffy drops an orcus dagger. Oh, thanks for picking that up. You are still in a pit. Alright. Um, fire. What do you want to throw? Show choices. Longsword, a dagger, an orcus dagger. I don't want to throw anything. Um, however, I do kind of want to keep digging to see what happens. So, um, what's this? More info, yes. Oh, the Valkyries. Thank you. Okay. What's this? A doorway or f or the floor of a room or ice. Okay. So let's go to inventory again. Pickaxe. Use. Apply. Down. Uh, I fell through the floor. To the next level. I'm not sure what I thought was going to happen. But let's go up. No, that went down. No, that went up. What is this? You begin bashing monsters with your pickaxe. You hit the lichen. Um, let's not bash things with my pickaxe. That sounds like a terrible idea. Let's uh, wield the weapon. You missed the lichen. You hit the lichen. You missed the lichen. Um, let's see if I can... What's this? More info. The chamber was of unhewn rock round as near as might be, 18 or 20 feet across, and gay with rich variety of fern and moss and lichen. The fern was in its winter still, or coiling for the springtide, but moss was in abundant life. Some feathering and some gobleted, and some with fringe of red to it. This is green, so... A fungus or mold. You hit the lichen. You kill the lichen. Corpse. A lichen corpse. Perfect. I have a lichen corpse now. And I have 70 more gold pieces. Awesome. I'm all about it. You get trapped. Grid bug bites. You get zapped, it says. You miss the grid bug. I have 13 HP. You get zapped. 12 HP. I killed the grid bug. There's another grid bug. You get zapped. 11 HP. You feel yourself slowing down, you hit the grid bug. Grid bug bites, you get zapped, you kill the grid bug. The fox bites? 
You hit the fox, the fox bites. The fox bites. You miss the fox, the fox bites. I have one HP left. You killed the fox. Welcome to experience level two. Oh, thank goodness. I have 12 HP now instead of just the two. Or the one. A fox corpse. Okay. So gold. Look. Old messages. Options. Help. Inventory. Map. Cast spell. Extend commands. Show discoveries. Let's see if you don't know any spells right now. Okay. And this is our map. That's a uh, trap. That's a hole. That's a hole that I dug. Um, staircase down. <laughs> is this staircase up? Yeah, that's where we came from. Alright. Dungeons of Doom level 1. I like this. Lots to do. Anything that you can think of, kind of, it seems. So let's, let's, let's test that. Let's see if it is anything that I can think of. Um, let's grab the gold pieces. 25 gold pieces. One bubbly potion. And then, let's see what's over this direction. You hear some noises in the distance. Uh-oh. Let's uh, search. Let's search some more. Search some more. You know what, let's rest. 16 HP. Rest. Pray. Do you want to pray? Yes. Thou hast angered me. A black glow surrounds you. I don't know how I angered him. Uh, monster ability? You don't have any special abilities in your normal form. Sit. Have, having fun sitting on the ground, and then rest. That's not letting me rest. Let's see. Okay. I don't know how to rest, but we can wield pickaxe. Let's do that. Let's. A lichen corpse. Fox corpse. Weight 300. Eat. The fox corpse tastes terrible. You finish eating the cop. Okay, eat that too. Alright. The lichen corpse tastes terrible, but I do have 18 HP now. Let's eat the uncursed food ration. You're having a hard time getting all of it down. Stop eating. Yes. Okay. I think it's because I was eating too much, to be honest with you. What the... Alright, so... Partly eaten food ration, a bubbly potion. Um, read? You don't have anything to read. Put on? You don't have anything to put on. Apply? This is the only thing to use or apply. Drink. Magical energies course through your body. 20 HP. 9 power. Okay. Sweet. So we're, we're doing things. You hear some noises in the distance. Oh goodness. What's in the distance? Um, let's find out. Oh, you display Scruffy. Hello, Scruffy. Chat. Scruffy barks. That's cute. I love you, Scruffy. Continue onward. Display Scruffy. Sorry for displacing you, dude. The door opens. What's this? A floor. There's more lichen. So let's, um... Fire. Show choices. An orcish dagger. In this direction. <laughs> the orcish dagger slips as you throw it. Alright, fire. Show choices. A dagger. This direction. Right, the dagger hits the lichen. You miss the newt. You miss the newt. The newt bites. You miss the newt. You miss the newt. The newt misses. You miss the newt. The newt bites. Um, I'm not sure I actually have anything equipped at this moment. I do. I have a longsword equipped. You hit the newt. You miss the newt. The newt just misses. You miss the newt. The newt bites. You miss the newt. The newt is biting and I'm missing him, but I've killed him. Let's get the corpse. Scruffy bites the lichen, the lichen is killed. Perfect. Good boy, Scruffy. Let's see. 
If I do C, in what direction? That direction? You see no door there. If I do Shift C, um, kick something, usually a door, engrave a message on the floor, advance or check weapons, and enhance. Use a monster special ability, set options. Um, pay your shopping bill. Okay, let's continue onward. Let's pick up our dagger. Ah, Scruffy, thank you for dropping that dagger, bro. Uh, a cobalt, huh? Scruffy bites the cobalt. You miss the cobalt. The cobalt is killed, and he has thirteen darts. Perfect. Scruffy drops a dart. Thanks, bro. You're amazing. All right. I love that I have a doggy. You get zapped. Red bug again. You kill the red bug. Good. I wonder if this game is like other roguelikes, in which I gain HP as turns happen? Let's find out. Let's just click here to move there. Uh oh. It's a newt. You missed the newt. The newt bites. You missed the newt. You missed the newt. The newt misses. You hit the newt. The newt bites. You missed the newt. You killed the newt. 17 HP. Let's go over here. 18 HP. But now there's a zap bug. You kill the grid bug. Let's go this way. 18 HP. 19 HP. Twenty HP. So yeah, as you move around, you get more HP. Let's take a look at the map again. Um, have we explored the entirety of this floor, I'm wondering. Kind of seems that way. Alright, so the only thing that I'm wondering is if we go here, um, invalid direction key, valid direction keys with numpad, direct at yourself, suppress this message with and then config file. Right. Oh, shoot. It's a goblin. What's this? More info? Yes. Now goblins are cruel, wicked, and bad-hearted. They make no beautiful things, but they make many clever ones. They can tunnel and mine as well as any but the most skilled dwarves. When they take the trouble, though they are usually untidy and dirty, hammers, axes, swords, daggers, pickaxes, tongs, and also instruments of torture they make very well, or get other people to make to their dungeon. Prisoners and slaves that have to work till they die for want of air and light. You killed the goblin. Cool. Pick up what? Um, orcish dagger, um, orcish helm, and an orc corpse. Except. Cool. We have 21 out of 27 HP. We are carrying a lot, it seems. How much can we carry? Look at all this weight. 400 for a goblin corpse. Um, read. Can we wear it? Can we put it on? Can we wield it? Weapon in hand. Can we quiver it? Okay. Please, no, please use quit if you want to exit the game. Okay. Let's go down. We've explored the entirety of this floor. What do do? Uh oh. I'm getting attacked by a couple things. You kill the jackal. You miss the jackal, the jackal bites. You kill the jackal. Perfect. You kill a couple jackals. This is a bigger room. You hear a door open. Uh oh. What? There's a fountain over here. Drink from the fountain. Yes! Water is foul, you gotta vomit. You can move again. I don't want water to be. The door resists, the door is closed, the door opens. Okay. Uh, let's see. The cobalt zombie hits. You 
destroy the cobalt zombie. Perfect. Destroyed you. Wait a second. Am I still wielding a goblin corpse? Yes. How did I destroy it with a goblin corpse? Um. Help. Uh. Let's see. Info on a character in the game display. Info on what a given key does. List of game options. List of game commands. Run in direction and tell something interesting to see. General commands. Display. Quit. End the game without saving the current game. Save the game to continue later and exit. Escape to some shell if allowed. Suspend the game, independent of your current suspended character. Set options. Tell what a map symbol represents. Display list of what's been discovered. Um, version display version number. History display game history. Explorer switch the game to explore mode. Okay, game commands. Teleport if you can. Show your attributes. Okay, let's show our attributes. That, that seems good. I don't know how to input that though. Let's try it. So we do up. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Up. X. Hmm. Show your attributes. Are you trying to use as specified in the to use that command, you press the control key and the X key at the same time. Oh, so that means control. Okay. Control X. Let's play human, Valkyrie, female, neutral. Human, Valkyrie, female, neutral. Loki, Odin, Tyr. Okay. Your new corpse is rot away. Okay, there's that. Hmm. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna equip my pickaxe again. Wield. A cursed pickaxe? Pickaxe wields itself into your hand, welds itself to your hand. What? How is. Can I look at the options on that one? Let's see. Um, cast spell. Extended commands. Offer a sacrifice to the gods. Offer a sacrifice. You are not standing on an altar. Okay, so let's... Now that it's done that, let's apply this direction. You succeed in cutting away some rock. Okay, let's keep doing that. Apply in this direction. You succeed in cutting away some rock. Apply in this direction. Alright, so I am digging. Perfect. I wonder if my weapons wear down. That would be nice. I'm just going to keep using this because it's welded to my hand, so why not? I wonder if I could do this in a more efficient way. It doesn't seem that way. A ghost or a dark part of a room or air. Okay. Um, apply that direction. Oh, snap. You hit the rock with all your might. You make an opening in the wall. You read... Thumbs up? Why did I read that? I have no idea. Smash doorways everywhere. Door is locked. Kick. As you kick the door, it crashes open. Darn straight it does. Alright. Let's go here. Oh. What? Velkomen, let's play. Welcome to Poso Groni's general store. Will you please leave your pickaxe outside? Um. Sure. 
not sure if I can, though. Remove. You can't. It is cursed. Um, chat? Talks about the problem with shoplifters. What's this? These strange creatures live mostly on the surface of the earth, gathering together in societies of various forms, but occasionally a stray will descend into the depths and commit mayhem among the dungeon residents who naturally often resent the intrusion of such beasts. They are capable of using weapons and magic, and it is even rumored that the wizard of Yendor is a member of the species. Cool. Will they attack? No. Um, boom. I can't leave my pickaxe outside. Yes. The wand hits you. Oh god. I died. <laughs> Do you want to see what you had when you died? Yes. All that stuff. Okay. Do you want an account of the creatures vanquished? Yes. Three jaxels, two foxes, a kobold, two goblins, four grid bugs, three lichens, a kobold zombie, three... Okay. Do you want to see your conduct? Yes. Voluntarily challenges. You never genocide any monsters. You never polymorphed an object. You never changed form. You use no wishes. You die in the Dungeons of Doom on Dungeon Level 2 with 216 points and 0 pieces of gold after 762 moves. You were Level 2 with a maximum of 27 hit points when you died. You made the top 10 list. Yay! Killed by a wand. Well... That's that, guys. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I will continue this game a little bit later, and I'll actually learn a little bit more about it so we can enjoy it a little bit more. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful day.